Today we'll be talking about providing treatment and support in rural and frontier communities. I think that as we look at these rural communities, it is important to understand that none of the two are the same. We can't compare them. And, um, you know, it's really a unique issue that we're dealing with. There are a lot of infrastructure development issues, like roads, like um, access to care, like educational level, and a lot of poverty issues that make people have a hard time trusting the treatment system. There's alcohol abuse and substance use disorders along the lines of methamphetamines. We're struggling with that. We're seeing some increase with heroin along with everybody else um, and the opioids. Um, as far as behavioral health, uh, there's the depression, anxieties. A lot of times in the rural um, communities, they have a, a culture that dictates that they rely on their families mm -hmm. first um, and then on their church if they have to turn to help so that people are loath to turn to professionals either for medical or behavioral help so that they don't access health even if it is available. You have um, a less dense population so a lot of companies and a lot of people that provide treatment don't want to come into that rural area uh, because they just don't feel like there's numbers enough to be a profitable business. We've got to bring effective treatments for mental health and substance abuse to our rural communities. Uh, there's just, we're not going to turn any of these problems around until all of our communities are adequately served. Mm -hmm.